Dave, Dave was great to play with. He Pleasure. loved to play. And he was, he was generally speaking, he was pretty quiet, very quite an introvert. Uh, had great knowledge of all things music, uh, especially blues, jazz, rock and roll, uh, country. He was a music aficionado. Mm, he sure was. knew. But when he hit the stage, oh, oh yeah, yeah. But this is something that not too many people know. He's a closet drummer. <laughs> he'd sit on the bus. He'd have his can, his, his headphones on. He'd sit there and be going. <laughs> and I'd say, Dave, and he'd go, What? <laughs> what do you listen to? Oh, uh, something. <laughs> yes. Yeah. We never, and, and a couple of times I'd say to him, you want to sit at the drums? He'd go, no, that's all right, Roger, that's your, that's your job. <laughs> but what was really cool about Dave was he, uh, he loved to play every night. I mean, before we go on stage, he'd be, you know, he'd be quiet or whatever. But when it came to going on the stage, he'd walk up there and he would just light up like a downtown Christmas tree. Um, There's some, was, how about the footage from, uh, it, was, it was only three or four shows after he had returned from his illness. Yeah. And um, his hair was short, but there's, there's a, it's from a plaza in Houston, yeah. Texas. And it's, Total evidence of that. I mean, you can tell. You know, he had just come back a, a couple of shows. In fact, there's a funny story of that. How how he how he got me back is, he you know he took some time off to recuperate, and I went back to Molly Hatchet for a while. <laughs> you know, I've for, right, forgotten about that. <laughs> right. So I went. You know, while Dave was was ill, you know, and um, I went back to Molly Hatchet for another album, and we went to Germany, and that, that's a whole other story. But I'm in Green Bay, and um, Dave calls me, you know, and he goes. Brian, I you know, feel like doing a bit of playing, and I was like, okay, Dave, you know, and I said, sure, if you want me to come over to the house, I'm, I'll be home, you know, next week, and he goes, no, I feel like I want to go back out on tour, and I go, okay, go, I have to quit my band again, <laughs> he, goes, <"Okay." laughs> he goes, okay, I'll have Mike call you with plane tickets, I'll <laughs> see you in New York, uh, uh, so, that's great, so I, I had a meeting that day, I, you know, I told Bobby again, I said, man, I'm sorry, I'm, Bobby Ingram, right, right, yeah. sorry, but um, Dave called me, and, you know, Dave was my, was really my best friend, and, you know, and, uh, so I said, of course, you know, and especially what, after <laughs> what he'd gone through, but, <laughs> that was not, an, that was an uncomfortable meeting, you know, <laughs> but, uh, but, yeah, that was, and then, yeah, we got we got almost a year and then we rushed and then and we lost him. Uh -huh. But uh yeah, beautiful memories.